I'm Verity from the Creative Design team and welcome to February's Technique Tuesday video. Want to get that look of veining within your alcohol inks? Well today I'm sharing how to do that with Wow Fab Foils. What's more, I'm showing you how to pair your alcohol inks with some Wow Fab Foilers. We're featuring the Sweet Sentiments Fab Foiler pack, but you can use this with a variety of different backgrounds from all three packs. I'm going to show you how I create the alcohol ink backgrounds first and add the foil and then look at the fab foilers later on. I'm using a piece of Yupo cardstock here. This is from Ranger Ink. This is the Tim Holtz alcohol ink Yupo white cardstock that I'm using here. And I'm using the whole panel to begin with and then I can trim it down, getting the size of the panel that I want to begin with. I first of all added some blending solution to the cardstock and then added my ink over the top. And this just helps move the ink around a lot more. And then I go back in with some 99% alcohol. And this again allows the ink to move about on the, on the Yupo paper really, really well. The first colour I went in with was Flamenco. And I'm just using a puffer. This is from when you clean out your cameras, your old fashion style cameras. But it's just a puffer that allows me to move the ink around. Now you can buy the Tim Holtz one, but there are other ones on the market as well. I'm making sure that when I'm doing this, I have a really well ventilated room. So I've got a window open and I get breath of fresh air. I then went in with some indigo ink, which is a lovely blue. And I just keep on moving the ink around, adding alcohol as well, just to get that moving and puffing around. One thing I would give you as a tip is that Tim Holtz likes to say is when you are using the puffer, you don't need to completely squeeze all the air out. You can get small movements when you just do a small squeeze and it just allows the ink to move. Now you'll notice I keep positioning a piece of foil over the top. I did this after I'd done all my foiling and I was initially going to place the foil piece over the top but I changed my mind. So just if you notice that, that's why I keep doing that. I keep on adding the colours in and I keep playing about. Now what's great with alcohol inks is you can keep moving it, you can keep playing about with it. If you don't like it, you can probably wipe most of it off with some alcohol blending solution or alcohol and it will clear, clean it off. But you don't, ha don't need to and you can keep layering it up. Once it dries, you can then add some more colour over the top. I've then also gone in with Wild and Stream. So the Stream is more of like a turquoisey teal colour and the Wild Plum gives a much more stronger pink, which gives a much more, when it blends with the indigo, a purpley colour. Now, I really love how this started to look. I loved that mottled look that it was getting from all those colours with the alcohol over the top. Once I was happy with the background design, I can then start adding some foil detail. Now, as you noticed, I did tip it up in the light and you can see some areas where it's sort of still wet or tacky. And the Wow Fab Foils work with a tacky surface. So I can place my foil over the top of the tacky areas of the alcohol ink, press it down and it will transfer the foil onto the Yupo panel. This will be limited on how tacky it is and how much uh, pressure you give. The more pressure you give over that tacky area, the more that will adhere to it. But remember, if it is much more wet rather than tacky, it won't adhere and you'll just get alcohol ink on the back of your fab foil. When you're doing this, you need to make sure your fab foil it has the pretty side facing up and the non-pretty side facing tacky surface. And as you can see, I've created this sort of veining look with the fab foils on my alcohol ink background. I'm going to show you another panel and this is another way of using your alcohol inks as well as some fab foils and later on your fab foilers. Now vellum is not a completely porous surface and not a completely non-porous surface but it does work with alcohol inks. I've added some alcohol, 99% alcohol onto the panel and I've just adhered it down with some washi tape because this will start to warp if you don't. And it's not the end of the world, but when you're trying to work on it with the alcohol inks, you don't really want it warping at that time. I'm going in with the exact same colours, and this will show you the difference as well of using it on vellum as opposed to a pure Yupo paper, which has got a solid colour that isn't opaque. I've gone in with your plum, your flamenco, your stream, and your indigo. And again, just playing about with layering up all the colours, moving it around with my puffer, adding more alcohol ink to make the colours move, soften the edges, blend it out. And I don't worry that if some of it goes over the edge, it will seep underneath. It just gives it an additional look. At this point, I did add a little bit too much more, too much of the indigo, but I go in, I dry it off, and then I go in and add some more of the alcohol ink, which then allows you to sort of soften it up and lighten it up, to then go in with an additional colour. 
When I am using my WOW heat tool here, I'm only using it on speed one. I'm just doing this to dry it off. I don't want it to necessarily heat the panel. It's just to give that initial drying to speed it up for me. This allows you to layer up your ink colors as well. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful look, which you may find a little bit difficult to see at the moment until we put it on a piece of white cardstock. But again, the alcohol inks, as same as they did on the Upo cardstock, they will create a tacky surface in areas on the vellum. And that's where the alcohol ink is pulling up in thicker areas, where there's more of the colour intensity. It's overlapped, it's pulled, it will take a little bit longer to dry. So when it does start to dry, it goes tacky and we can add the fab foil. Again, just going in with my gold wow fab foil, pressing it down, lifting it off and seeing that the foil has transferred. I really loved how this looked. I got much more better foil transfer on the vellum piece than I did with my Upo cardstock. That doesn't necessarily mean it's to do with the substrate that I've done this on, it's just I may have worked a bit quicker on this piece than I did on my Upo cardstock. But also the way the alcohol has pooled has given a much more even drying time, so it's more tacky in areas and not wet in areas. So as you can see as I take that off and we can see all those foiling details on there. Now I wanted to add some extra foil details to tie in with the foil on the alcohol ink backgrounds and I'm going to use a fab foiler set here. This is a Sweet Sentiment set. set. This has forged panel designs, two background designs that say happy birthday, one the reverse of the other and then we've got two sentiment strip panels again the reverse of each other with a variety of different sentiments that can go for all different occasions so it's a really good all-rounder pack. I'm just going through my fab foils and I decided to go with gold but I did pick out one other additional colour and I'll show you that later on although I don't use it in my cards it, it is always great to see the reveal of foiling. These panels do measure slightly bigger than an, an American A2 card and a UK um, A2, A5 card. The fab foil reams are a little bit thinner than the width of the card so you just need to turn it around to get the width of the card panel with your foil and then you can overlap it. It's not going to cause any problems with your foiling if your foil panels overlap. They will still correctly foil where the toner is present. So remember these fab foilers, they are pre-printed toner ink designs. They must be used with a toner ink foil such as WOW fab foils. And you need to use a hot either a laminator or a mink machine. You can use a run of the mill laminator, you just need to make sure it's heated up for a long period of time to make sure it's really hot for the foiling. I placed the foil over the top of the pre-printed panel with the pretty side up and I placed it in a carrier sheet. Here I'm just using a folded piece of paper. I'm then running this through my mink machine and I'm using setting 2 on my mink machine because I felt this gave good foiling but didn't overfoil or underfoil. Once it's run through my mink machine, I can then do the peel and the reveal, which never gets old when it comes to foiling. It just looks lovely. And of course, I did this in a classic gold, so this gives you a beautiful happy birthday foil background panel to use in your card making. And it looks stunning because it's a real classic combo, it's very elegant, but also modern with that white and gold look. Now you can use these two other pieces with your solid fat panels, but I'm not going to be doing that today. Bear in mind that you can use that. I just wanted to show you this other one because I used the pink fab foil and I haven't had the pink fab foil before. It's a beautiful colour, really is. And I'm just doing this on the reverse panel that you can see here. This is where you've got the background is black and the sentiments are white. So the pink is only going to foil to where the black area is on the design. I just wanted to show you this as the reveal and also just to let you know that sometimes it may look like it's overfoiled. So I haven't got the Christmas hearts here and you may be thinking oh no it's overfoiled. But remember those hearts are white on this design so they don't have any toner. So there may be some foil there but it's got nothing to adhere to so you just need to rub it off and your white hearts will reappear. It's really easy to rub it off with your fingers. I then also foiled the sentiment strip panel and I did this in gold. And it looks absolutely stunning when you do the peel and reveal. As I said, there are so many different sentiments on here that are perfect for all sorts of different occasions. And you, all you have to do is trim those down and they're ready to use for your cards for any card making projects that you do. So I'm just finishing these cards off. So I have trimmed down the alcohol ink panel on the Yupo cardstock. 
and adhered it to a white card base. And what's great when you do it on a larger panel is you can trim it down to the, the most interesting area of the panel. And then adding a couple of those sentiment strips that I fold in Wow Gold Fab Foil from the Sweet Sentiments Fab Foiler Sentiments set. And I've just foam mounted these with some foam pads to adhere them to the front. And I'm keeping it really simple and really classic. The alcohol ink background on the vellum, because vellum is partially transparent, you can overlay it and you'll get the pattern coming through. So here I wanted to overlay the happy birthday background and I've trimmed it down again to the area that I was interested in. I wanted a little bit of a border so I trimmed it down to smaller than the car panel so that sentiment panel still pokes through and still still is seen. And you may think, well how do I adhere the vellum panel down? It, it's transparent, how can I do that? Well what's great is you can add small little bits of double sided adhesive over the areas where you've got the dark alcohol ink and it hides it. So you could hear it down and nobody would be none the wiser. In addition, I'm then using a couple more strips from those sentiment strips panel and I'm just adhering them onto the front. And this creates another beautiful modern birthday card suitable for any recipient. I absolutely love how these two cards turn out. Colours are just stunning, the vibrancy. I love how when you turn it in the light, you get all that foiling interest from both the sentiments as well as the veining on the alcohol ink backgrounds. So remember, let me know which out of these two is your favourite. I really love the vellum look, but I also love the simplicity of the Upo cardstock panel. If you're interested in any of the products that I've used today, just check out the description box below where you'll find a list of links to the products. For 10% discount at the Wow Embossing Powder shop, just use the code that you can see on screen.